Prepare for battle. I, I would agree with that. He's he's the man right now. That they, they have no one else to really reliably start the fight. So unless that unless we want to see Hal go for a, a blink dagger jug or you know shadow blade or something unusual like that, but well, here we go. Level one clash could be a Bruin. Banana gonna walk in. Has the boots. First blood. First blood from a deep cut notch. The red sap flows. Thirty seconds to battle. Yeah, it happened so early that he's got time for a free fountain trip. How convenient. Oh, not even if he has a single tango. Oh my. Great start here for Beachy Gaming. They, the question is, can Newbie compensate by getting these runes? They, they do have June lurking near top. It's going to be how coming to join him. This may force the centaur back for now, though. Given Fenrir the axe. The he may begins. get trapped here, pincered in the river. There's no Blade Fury follow-up. It'll be a one-for-one -one bounty retreat, and with that, we'll introduce the lineups. On the side of Newbie, you've got Banana playing your support. Rubik, he did go boots first. So, uh, we'll have Rabbit handling the Queen of Pain. So dual lane bottom, at least for now. Mu will be your shadow friend going mid. Sangshen gonna support him on the Earthshaker. It will be June heading top as the Centaur. And, well, they'll be facing the mighty Vici Gaming already with the first blood. Yeah, I I was following the introductions to did, did not see that one coming, but no, oh, must have had a, a nice body block there with an impale into the blade carries. They will rotate on mid in the meantime. FY with the boots first goes in, finds another kill. So a bloody start here for Vichy Gaming. They find a first blood bottom, they then find a follow-up kill top, and to round it off, another kill mid. They they've killed every lane. <laughs> It's gonna be tough. Already you've got some matchups which can be difficult if you fall behind. The Shadow Fiend versus Sniper. I, I wouldn't say that Sniper wins the matchup necessarily. Shadow Fiend can kind of flash farm and catch up with raises in the jungle and just play safe once the Sniper hits level six or seven. But uh, if you get out of position and you're behind a level, he's got the boots advantage or phase boots to regular boots, then you're really gonna struggle. So now Moo may need some help. They do have the Shaker they can park nearby mid to try and salvage that lane. And, uh, mid could be recovered, but you know, you're looking at the offlane now already. Ice, ice, ice. Trying to get cute, kind of swading through the jungle, maybe scouting to see if any supports are off stacking or missing. And now he's going to make his way towards mid. In doing so, he also dodges any potential gank that could be coming his way, but uh, doesn't look like there's one coming. They're just that Shaker parked mid, and he'll probably be able to make the call that the Shaker is off the bottom lane at this point. Yeah, obviously where the, the safe lane Queen of Pain really excels if you have a, a weaker melee offlaner. Still good against a Phoenix. In general, you're going to zone anybody out of the lane, but... Oh, Ice 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 getting his levels. He's about to level 3. At 3 minutes in, this is not shabby. As uh, there will be a blink forward, but... Phoenix has the escape mechanism, so you jump on him. He's just going to dive right back. He may have to walk to base and wait a little bit. Perhaps checks that 4 minute in first, but... Once he gets the tranquils, he'll have a, an easier time in this lane.
he's almost got the phase boots, Aquila, uh, at level 6. This is where things get really scary for the Shadow Fiend. Can be easily solo killed by a sniper if he's got the phase boots advantage. And In fact, looking at Mu right now, I don't think he's got any boots. Nothing picked up in the well just yet. Just the bottle Wraith Band to start things off. And uh, He's just about got the gold for them, but here comes the rotation. Shaker is waiting. Very nice fissure block, and Mu will retreat. Uh, they need that, else he will get on the feed train, but for now he, he avoids his one-way ticket. Space created here. Uh, Wasted a lot of the Rubik's time and does make it out. And carrying that TP off the bat. Very heads up play from Ice Ice Ice, as you would expect in the offlane. So, well, comparing the two offlaners right now, June about to hit level 3. Are there any stacks waiting for him? There's one stack, but that's probably going to the Shadow Fiend. As we will see, FY wrapping around top lane. Oh, uh, this courier is going to scout him out on the way back. Trying to maybe get eyes on him. It heads towards mid. No. I don't think. Don't think they actually saw him. It's nighttime, and uh, narrowly the bullet will be dodged. But now they've got a lane ward down, and they'll, when they want to go for this Radiant's push with Omni Slash ready, anybody who walks into the lane on their own will be a pretty easy kill. the invis room bottled up as well. Uh, let's see, can he find anything? Ice Ice Ice, very vulnerable. Could potentially just jump him and kill him off himself right now. Ice 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 is in the danger zone. 300 health. Uh, simple, a simple blink in for the Queen of Pain would be enough for the kill if they get the ulti to hit, but it can be a little tricky with that wind up. You go for the wind up, if he dives back in time, then you may, you may stand looking to fool when the dust settles. So waiting for a, an easier opening, I suppose. I'm really looking top though. Uh, this Observer Ward scouts out June, and they may well just tower dive him for a kill. Mu cannot be feeling safe right now. It's nighttime, he's got no ward, and his Earthshaker is not currently mid. He is going to see the sniper, but that doesn't really mean anything. The, you see the sniper mid, it's like, well, is there anyone else there? Because if there is, you're probably going to die. FY just waiting to reveal a smoke gank. He was ready for that potential move by Newbie. We'll scout out June and... An opportunity missed here for newbie. Very good positioning. We've seen teams just as of late do such a good job at just always kind of congregating around this area on the dire side. Sometimes up on this hill if you're radiant and just scouting out these movements, breaking the smokes nice attack. and early. And they'll do it again here, so good good kind of game sense from FY and they'll dodge a bullet for their sniper. Oh, top lane. Yeah, five hero rotation. Uh, I, I don't know if I would say Vici will take it. It's not a great trade for them, but considering just how much was invested, Vici will make up for it to some extent with the, the levels for Ice 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 in the offlane. He now gets level five here compared to the Centaur. About neck and neck, actually. Thanks to that fight, June gets a lot of experience.
Yeah, if anyone's gonna be under leveled, I, I suppose your Earthshaker is the ideal go-to hero. He, he can get some meat time later, just needs to be the walking fissure. Realistically, you're not walking in for an Echo Slam most of the time anyway, so... Vici Gaming, got a three-man farm, they're neutrals right now. Very defensive play for them. I think they did spot Sanctuary TPing in top lane. Uh, they do have the Observer Ward, but for now he kind of hugs Fenrir, or uh, sorry, Fenrir, the one under pressure. But yeah, they, I think they did spot Sanctuary TPing towards this lane. This Fenrir just plays back. Pretty defensive positioning from your line. Can they, can they make it go at him? They have to Fissure. If they can hit a Fissure here, like if you can see, he's like just in range right now, but doesn't know if there's maybe a living armor ready to come out or a tree perhaps prepared to counter initiate, so he continues to wait. They're gonna see him. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Big kill, and while well, the Shaker just kind of waited too long. <laughs> Sticks around long enough, eventually you're going to get caught out. As, uh, we will see Banana steal the Fire Spirits. In the meantime, looking at the Blink Dagger timing. June, up to 950 gold, gets the Stampede. Oh, super. He wanted to make it go on mid, but Moo able to pop that. Able to pop the Invis Vern and get back. And, you know, after the way this game started, I really thought Mu would struggle. But great Earthshaker play early from St. Shane to protect him from that second follow-up gank. And he's well on his way to a Yule Scepter. In fact, he just needs the recipe. And once he gets this, he is not only more difficult to kill, but he picks up some kill potential in his own right. This has been a very admirable recovery for the Shadow Fiend. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Yeah. If you get the right Requiem, you can solo kill anyone uh, outside of the Jug, who can just spam Blade Fury as he comes back down to Earth, but... Uh, uh, the question is, will he find anyone? For now, Vici Gaming, hanging back, they have now seen the mules if they're paying attention. That lane war top did some work, though. It spots the rotation is... Oh, I totally missed that. Not sure if you caught it. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Oh, nicely done. That's gonna get him towards the Orchid. Vici Gaming still hanging Dyer's back top lane. They don't have that attack. lane ward anymore. They probably suspect the Shakers in the neighborhood. As you can see, him constantly lining up the Fizzer. Not ready to cast him just yet. They're gonna try to make a go here on June. Stampede forced out. How? Not in range for the Omni. Now they bring in the squad. Here comes the backup. Structures are fortified. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance top tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, it was it was a one of those egg positions where I feel like normally the egg just gets five man focus because he dove the first man in really. The jug was kind of hiding in the trees, not really the, the true initiator at that point. And then everyone ran, because if they go in to kill the egg, then they tank an Omni Slash. Potentially the tree's gonna follow up on that and well, speaking of the tree. See you later, FY. Double Requiem kill! Ice 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 comes diving in right as the spirit bomb explodes. That's just Radiant's a free donation from your attack. Phoenix. That's 
so, that's that was an epic moment. Oh my! I'm always like, okay, I got this one easy kill of the tree. He did not expect the twofer, and I'll certainly take it. Now up to all of a sudden, this guy just got his Yule scepter. He's got a blink. If he wants it, he's farming like a chap, and we're gonna see Beach and Gaming pick up their smoke. They they are very squishy here on their cores. The ma double mask of madness, Yasha. They don't have their frontline initiator. That's really the downside to running the Phoenix offlane. You know, you saw the axe banned out by Newbie, I believe, as the the fifth ban here. They, they could have gone for something like the Centaur in their own right, but they went for one of Ice Ice Ice's comfort heroes in the Phoenix, and it gives them a very potent team fight with the Phoenix uh, tree combo. But the, the downside is that they're rather squishy, and until this line gets a blink, there's no clear initiator. Whereas you look across the way at Newbie, they've got the Fissure, they have the Rubik now with a, a stolen nature's guys to set things up as he squirms around through the trees, and. Uh, Centaur with the blink as well. Three different heroes who can get the fight start. Well, make it four now, I guess, with the Shadow Fiend. <laughs> Haste. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. This could be good. Could not have gone any better for Vici. So, <laughs> the whole newbie squad gets scouted out down at the river. Then they try to run, but it's at the exact moment when Vici Gaming are preparing their flank. So they get the flank off. Phoenix comes diving in. At that moment, a panic Echo Slam comes flying out from Sang Chain. Only hits the egg, does absolutely nothing. They continue running. They've already lost two or three heroes at this point. Jug Omni slashes onto the Shadow Fiend, who immediately pops his Yule, and then it just straight bounces right away over to the other hero next to him. They end up getting five, the, the Centaur going down there. If each game you have used everything now, though, and Newbie want to smoke, but guess who's waiting to scout them out? It's Fenrir! With Nature's Guys, there will be no ambush. They're gonna get caught from the backside if they stick around much longer, Rabbit. Oh, there's an Impel. Follow-up Hex is available. Can they get him with the Overgrowth? Yes, they can. Can they finish the job, though? Really no backup coming here. And it looks like he'll be able to blink out, but that's okay. They've secured the Roche. And now, Banana, down to 11 health. Can he turn it? He wants to. He's got the stolen Fire Spirits ready to fly, but rather risky to continue engaging. He's going to try for it. Shadow Feet, unable to stop anyone. Fender just goes under cover of Nature's guys. He'll make it out. Back to the well goes FY. Everybody surviving. Finally, the blink double raise combo. I, he saw him walking through, I think, from this Sentry Ward, maybe just for a, a second. But great prediction by Moon just to get that single lion kill. Still, Aegis now comfortably snagged by your jug. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Yeah, they, they want to just hit the kill switch here. Uh, while, that, while they have the advantage, press it as much as possible. They are chewing through their smokes now, though. One available, uh, one on Fenrir. I guess they didn't use very many in the lighting stage. They seem to have a lot stocked up, but this will be two smokes in a very short period of time. 
Uh, it's not gonna find anyone just yet, but fortified. look who's walking back towards mid. It's a banana. Oh, this could be trouble. They are about to see him. Oh, now they spotted him. Immediately, they try to make their way in. No blink just yet on Fenrir, though. They'll give him nature's guys again. Oh, man, this is being used to such great effect to initiate it. Top lane how able to dodge away from it to come in Banana will end up going down. And they get the tower. So Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Fight for newbie. That was two excellent fissures from the Earthshaker there. The first one, right after the the tree plus one TP, and he fissures, blocks them off a little bit uh, and allows them to set up that big Queen of Pain combo. And then the second one, catching an additional two heroes and also allowing his Shadow Fiend to blink into the trees and survive. Some excellent play for Saint Chain. And uh, there aren't many supports that can be. 10th on net worth at 21 and a half minutes and still have this kind of impact, but if anyone is, it's the tree. As you can see, Banana managed to steal living armor. Can they get something aggressive going with this? There are still good boards around the map for Vici, and this will allow them to spot out some of these heroes rotating back, but uh, that's a lot of waste of momentum. They, they give up three kills, they lose their Aegis, and with that, it may be Newbie who are back in the driver's seat. Guess who's waiting? <laughs> it's everyone! <laughs> I am loving this Vici Gaming draft. When when Ice 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 jumps in, he's diving into five heroes, immediately eggs, and they have to run. Because otherwise, they get Omni Slash, the sniper goes to work on them, and speaking of that jug, he is hunting your shadow because of Blink Dagger in three. There's a Blink out. As the meanwhile, Ice 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 will be trapped. He ends up taking down the Soul Burn in the well, will fall. Now they hunt Rabbit. They're trying to cage him from all sides. They descend, but oh, he blinks into hell. This is maybe trouble here. Will there be crits? Needs one more. He gets the kill. Uh, a double two for three crit there. And he'll get the job done. He may even find the Rubik. <laughs> oh, no. Stolen Omni Slash. This could be big. That's, that's a big kill. Uh, that right there swings the game about a thousand gold, two thousand experience. They need a couple more though, and they really need to kill Super at this point. This this guy's the, the real scary one as he continues to pursue out move mid lane. Does he have another shrapnel available? Nope. Cooling down. Move. 
Yeah, that's the thing. When the Phoenix goes in with the egg and there's a BKB sniper, you have no way to stop him from hitting you. And he just does too much damage, so they have to run. If they go on the egg, then the entire, like, Shaker's, the, he probably gets two kills. The the Rubik plus one, or the, the Shaker plus one. He'll, he'll at least bring one hero low and kill another off, so... The combo really works out beautifully, and obviously the other great thing with this is you don't have to worry so much about the blink stop or that Yules into Requiem combo. You can just BKB your way out of it, so nice pick up here for Super. I'm still on the back of it. It's a fairly even game, but as the game moves along later, it does feel like Vici Gaming with the Jug plus Sniper. These two heroes scale very hard. Your Shadow Fiend potentially does Queen of Pain. Not so much. Can tend to fall off. We'll be relying on getting like a, a hex here. I think the other big item for newbie is I want to say a Sangshan Blink Dagger, although looking at his item progression, uh, he'll be lucky just to get the Soul Ring picked up in 25 minutes. The only solution they're going to have to that is either Blink Echo, because it's basically instant, a Hex, which they're not really close to farming, or a Blink on the Rubik to, to get that instant lift. But, well, trying to go in with a Blink Stop against the BKB Sniper, he's just going to have his fingers warmed up and ready to go, and in this case, he does. Your Rubik, Banana, sitting back, wants to leech a little experience, but against this Blink Jug, even standing within vision of Radiant's the creep wave is... It's dangerous. Attack. The sniper closes the gap, or this uh, jug closes the gap very quickly. We're gonna continue to smack the tower bottom with these illusions. Uh, Brady and the shaker. Neither of these heroes can really deal with the jug. In fact, they can't even really deal with his illusions. <laughs> Your Rubik being driven all the way back. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I see what you did there, you sly dog. <laughs> they're, they're gonna drop an obs on the, the high ground, and there was a Radiant Sentry planted here, however, I believe the, the free vision it gives you more off so. It's a thing you've seen, and it may come back to haunt them. They think you have eyes on Moo right now, the Blink Hex at the ready, the double, or the, the two levels in finger, now picked up, so they can quickly kill Moo if he's not careful. Top tower that was without the joke. As you mentioned, he was just soloing the Roshia during that time. Vici Gaming. Oh, this is trouble now for newbie. Uh, that said, the last Dyer's time we saw an Aegis picked up, uh, it was quickly dealt with by the newbie squad. But this time, I fear it's not going to be so easy. They've got a lot of solutions here to that newbie jump. The, the BKB on the sniper, one of the big ones. Multiple blink daggers to either get out of the fight or jump in and try and start on the favorable terms. And also, a lot of aggressive wards now planted down. They've got one on both 
sides of the Radiant base, so leaving the base. It's very dicey. The items continue to pile up. There's your Scotty for the jug. trees, but Super has just been ready with his BKB hunt. Every time they try to go on him, they just don't have a solution for this. They need a Blink Dagger on the Rubik or the Element of Surprise on the Shaker. They are just not catching Super out with the Blink Hookstone. And even as should they do it, I mean, he is pretty tanky once he pops the BKB, so unfortunately he's just been too good with the defensive play, and as a result they may lose a lane of Rax. There's a Earth Shaker respawning too, but Age of Sunlight for Hal. Ice Ice is going to come swerving in. This is an egg. Ready to go. And what did they steal here? Just the Gilly Ward. Not so good on defense. So they'll take whatever they can get. But it's now Al going to clean out the entire lane of Rax. And well, with that, they'll just blast the Rubik back to the well. Oh, uh, he, he got... Yeah, he got eviscerated. And, you know, Vinci Gaming talks about wanting an aggressive carry. Man, has how been aggressive or what this game. Every time I see this guy, he's blinking forward, usually with no backup into like three, four, five heroes, soloing Roshan, diving all around the map. Sure, he's got a couple of deaths to his name, but he has made things happen. Dominant is the only word that you could properly describe it. They, to be fair, I think they really had trouble finding good initiations later on in that game, and you know, that's where you would have loved to have the axe, but it's something that was banned out as the fifth ban. Newbie perhaps wishes.